Happy Wine Wednesday, everybody. Kevin and Robin here on the first Wednesday of spring. Is that true? It's true. All right. Time to start diving into more white wine, rosé, that kind of stuff. Is the weather well, going to follow? I always. Know. I hope so. It's sunny out there today. And nice. we are featuring wines that have loads of sunshine in their vineyards right along the coast of the Mediterranean in the region of La, La Clape in southern France. Yeah. I've been uh, lucky to travel a lot to France, and yeah. uh, this is a winery that uh, we found on a trip there maybe 10 or 12 years ago. I don't remember exactly. Uh, it's all kind of starting to blend together a little bit in my brain, but uh, I remember this trip because we tasted this rosé at a restaurant and really liked it. And you know, you're in the South of France, you're drinking lots of good rosé. Good rosé is not uh, hard to find down there, but this mm -hmm. one was really exceptional. So we had an opportunity to visit the Domain since it was kind of on the way home. And wow, what a spectacular spot. I don't know if you've uh, seen any pictures of this winery, but it is really quite stunningly beautiful. I have. I've looked it up and that has made me endlessly jealous of this story and where you were and what you found. So if you want to try that rosé that Kevin's talking about, it's in our little weekly pack yeah. here. But we've got some of the other wines from them on feature. So one of the other wonderful wines that they do that's a great little spring kind of like bridging season wine is this unoaked Chardonnay from uh, Negli as well. So it's going to be that like leaner, crisper, brighter. We're going to get into this right away. And then they do a couple of fantastic reds as well. Yeah, these are two wines that I actually buy quite often for myself. I really, um, Negli doesn't just make wine on their own property because it's mm -hmm. actually quite small. They're in a, they're in sort of a little, uh, almost a little courtyard that's sort of backed mm -hmm. up by Le Clap, which is, uh, Le Clap is a pretty famous uh, AOC in France, right? So it's, it's one of the more famous uh, places in the Languedoc to grow grapes. But their little spot happens to sort of bank up against these like, giant stunning sort of like hills are like really steep cliffs right so it's a really like beautiful spot and then it kind of looks out onto the onto the Mediterranean uh, they don't have a lot of vineyard land there so they are vineyards sort of planted all in and around the area mm -hmm. but uh, they also help some other smaller wineries out with their marketing so they'll go in they'll help them make their wines they'll, they'll lend some expertise and then they'll they'll sort of get them into uh, international marketing to Canada because the the producer might be too small really to kind of figure out the logistics of that so there's two sides to this winery and they don't always have Chateau and Negli on them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's yeah. pretty. <clears throat> yeah as you move up into the Reds and you move into Domaine de Boat so that's going to be their neighboring property as you're mentioning and they actually blend a little bit of Alicante Bouchette in there as well so it's more Alicante and Syrah which is going to be like spicier, richer, more blackberry and then, of course, your usual suspects from the Southern Rhone with Grenache Syrah Morbed in the La Cote. Um, but again, this one is like prettier and brighter and like a little more floral and surprisingly fresh for where it's from. Yeah, Negley, I mean, I don't think people don't know the winery really well in this market, but they're, they're quite a famous winery mm -hmm. and their top wines sell for well in excess of $150, $200 a bottle, which is unusual. Mm -hmm for this part of France, right? We typically think of wines in that price range coming from, you know, Chardonnay de Pop or the Northern Rhone, but certainly the Languedoc, that's really like at the absolute pinnacle of wine making there. So we're dealing with uh, a property that is really focused on high-end wine, really high quality wines. And typically when you have something like that, the entry level wines are, are really good value, which is, which is the case here. This Chardonnay is awesome. It's got like a little bit of texture to it, my mouth is watering. So no. <laughs> I can't speak. It's got a real kind of peach character to yeah. it. Right? Like it has this really nice, like elegant kind of stone fruit note. It's been a while since I've had this guy, and uh, I really like the sort of freshness of it. It's not a, it's mm -hmm. not oaked at all, but it, it has uh, it has a lot of expression to it. So I'm really happy with the way this is showing. Honestly, like twenty six dollar French Chardonnay, you can't beat this. This is really going to be something that you want to come in and try out. Um, the Domain de Vote, if you want to get into that, if you're doing any uh, beef or firing up the barbecue in the coming weeks, that's going to be a great one to look at. That one's Dust off that barbecue, I mean, clean it up, kick out that family it's of uh, mice that moved in there, whatever <laughs> happened over the winter. <laughs> oh gosh, 
gosh, I hope not, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the Lakota, if you want something. Are we going to go into that one? Diving into okay. another one. Fantastic. Feeling thirsty. We got a little late start today, so I know. It's, probably it's wine time. It's almost yeah. noon. It is. Uh, well, while you're opening up that, I'm going to mention, too, because you were talking about the rosé. So that is in the six-pack that we have on feature this week. So we had our women in wine tasting event uh, two Saturdays ago and it went fantastic. It was during um, the week of International Women's Day. So we did a little six pack that is wine that is all produced and exported and made by women in honor of that. Cool. And it did so, so well at that event. The event was super fun and thank you all for attending who came out. It was a sellout. Um, but in the pack, we've got the Negley Rosé, which is like a little bit salty, really fresh, crisp, and then uh, some wines from Nicosia, which we've talked about before, experience for a little Napa Valley Cab. It's honestly a fantastic pack and on sale for $140, so. Nice work. Yeah. It's a nice Can't little, it. uh, good little springtime wines, too. Mm -hmm. little, uh, little barbecue wine, little white, little rosé. Little Katanga Frizzante. Pretty much Something everything. sparkly for the patio. Everything you need to make that switch from winter to spring. You want to try a little red? Please. Why not? I haven't had this uh, new vintage yet. Mm. This is the first time I've uh, cracked into this one. It's really it different good. than the last one. It's got, you know, the Alicante is a great variety. If you don't know, it's quite dark. It's actually got um, really dark juice when you squish mm -hmm. it, right? It's one of those kind of weird grape varieties you don't see very often, but it's got this really like dark, brambly, spicy character to it, and you can really smell the nose here, and it's really intriguing. It's uh, really like screaming out for like grilled meats. Really is. It's your burger wine. <laughs> What's this one going for uh, right now? Twenty three ninety five. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah. All right. That's oh, why we love the South. That's France. good. You know, people think of French wines as more expensive, but really, there's parts of France where I think there's some of the best value anywhere that you can uh, that you can really track down. So this is a little bit brighter and fresher than last year's vintage too. Last year was like quite heavy and dense and a little bit more tannic. This is mm -hmm. a lot prettier and lighter. I'm liking it. Absolutely. That's delightful. Nice work. That's delightful. Yeah. Thank you. We'll get into this one uh, maybe off camera because, <laughs> you know, we're on a roll now. But Can't stop now. Uh, La Cote to me is like mini Chardonnay to Pop. I mean, it's definitely a step up even from what you get in most Cotron and only at like 30 bucks a mm -hmm. bottle. I think it's a spectacular buy. It's one you can, uh, if you like to sell our wine, you can pop this in the basement for a couple of years. It's only going to get better. But if you're impatient like me, it's also tasting pretty good right now. So, yeah. yeah gonna fire up the grill that's a beauty are these uh online right now or what's happening with the old website i haven't looked today oh yeah everything is online so yes you can pick up any of those uh to grab delivery here in the city if that's what you're looking for of awesome. course pick up your pack of wine if you're looking to stock up for the springtime and see what all the other lady winemakers are up to uh, some fantastic bottles in there since we are talking about spring, spring tasting schedule is out now, oh, yeah. so you can check that out if you're on the website as well. It has links for tickets, loads of events up at the University District in their cool little tasting room. We have Rosé Soiree. Uh, May is really just around the corner at this point, so you want to grab tickets because that one always sells out and one of my favorite festivals of the year. Absolutely. So uh, check those out. Come in, taste the wines. We're here all week. All right. Thanks.